Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota today. Renowned artist John Scott Postavit is having a new ex exhibit on display, excuse me, this spring at the Rourke Art Gallery and Museum. I have music museum director Jonathan Rudder, as well as the artist of the hour, John Scott Postavit, here to share the exciting news. Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is certainly exciting. Welcome in. Yeah, yeah thanks, for, thanks for having us. Yes, of course. So, Jonathan, for anyone who isn't familiar, can you share all the wonderful things going on at the Rourke? Well, uh, to top things off, of course, we have John Scott's uh, newest exhibit, mm -hmm. uh, Myth and Legend. On top of that, we also have an exhibit of relief prints by James O'Rourke and displays from our permanent collections, including uh, pop art and some uh, ancient Roman glass wow. and Egyptian ushtabi. Exciting. Yeah. Well, on to the man of the hour then. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? <coughs> well, I've been uh, showing with the Rourke Gallery for a very long time now, since 1988. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Shifted over from oil painting to pastels, and I've been doing them ever since, pastels and charcoals. Well, how exciting. And you brought some of your work to show off to our viewers today, too. Do you want to walk us through some of this? Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, one of the things that I've done for years is I, I changed themes. Okay. I've, I've never liked the idea of doing the same thing over and over again. Yes. I remember, distinctly remember a visiting artist at UND who just did one thing. Yeah. That's all. So I change topics every year. This year it is myths and legends. We have one here wow. on the, we have up front here, this is the Yeti. Okay. Had to, had to get some crypt, cryptids in there. Yes. The Yeti and the Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> we'll do landscapes, uh, really just as much variety as I can. Yeah, absolutely. And are these ones that you brought for us in charcoal? These are pas these, pastels. These, these, are, these are charcoal. The, okay. they, the main show is pastels. So most of the drawings are quite a bit larger, typically about thir 20 by 30 inches. Yes. Yeah. And I know that you're originally from Fargo. How does it feel to be back? Oh, I always like coming back to Fargo. Yes. It's always fun to come back, come back here and see everybody, visit friends, visit my dad. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you said that you were inspired this year from myths and legends. What really led to that? Uh, what led to myths and I legends? I mean, it's certainly an interesting topic, right? I don't know. I, I read a lot. Yes. And uh, our <coughs> my reading has been the inspiration for a lot of my shows over the years. Mm -hmm. um, I've also done a lot of shows about uh, involving travel because well, yeah. during grade school I read every National Geographic in the library at the, at the elementary school. Yes. Um, I just like, like myths and legends. You've got uh, uh, people like the Red Baron. You've got uh, myths and legends about the fairy folk living in England mm -hmm. underneath the hills. I think on the screen a moment ago you had one of those. Yeah, definitely. So tell us a little bit more about the exhibit. Uh, we've got uh, 23 new drawings okay. and uh, we'll be starting the show on this Friday. We'll have a, a uh, opening for gallery members on Friday and a public opening on Saturday. I mm -hmm. hope people can make it. Public opening starts at uh, 1 o'clock, isn't it? Uh, one thirty, and you'll be giving a talk at 2. Yeah. Hope you're ready. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. So for the both of you, how does it feel to have this partnership for this exhibit? Like I said, it's been great being with the Rourke Gallery for so many years. Uh, I really appreciate the gallery and the sheer variety of stuff it shows. Yes. So you now th these days I'm living out in California and there's a distinct difference. The galleries there show one thing. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. No matter who the artist is, the, it's like the gallery's brand. And well, I remember one time I went to a gallery in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona and tried to see if I could set up an exhibit there. And they said, well, we'd be glad to show you if you can put more turquoise in it. Oh, okay. Everything had to be <laughs> turquoise because yes. that's all they ever showed. Yep. But Rourke shows a huge variety of uh, figurative work, mm -hmm. pastels, landscapes, oil paintings, um, abstract, just everything. Yeah. It must be wonderful for you as well being able to provide this kind of art to the community. Absolutely. It's, it's a key part of our mission and, well, part of the long-standing tradition that uh, is handed down to us from our founding director, Jim O'Rourke. Yeah, definitely. So one more time for our viewers, how can folks find more information and then stop by and see the exhibit? Well, uh, you can go to our website, therourke.org. Uh, we're also on social media, at Rourke Arts on Facebook and Rourke Museum and Instagram. And the museum itself is, of course, always the best uh, way to engage with art. Uh, we're open uh, regularly, 1 to 5 p.m. on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and by appointment on Wednesdays and Thursdays, right there on Main Avenue in Moorhead. 
Well, wonderful. Thank you both so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank yes, you. Yes, of course. All right, everyone stick around. We have more North Dakota today coming right up after the break.